Now we are going to see the geometrical constructions. The basic idea of this chapter is one should know that how to construct the triangles, how to construct the angular bisectors and then how to draw the circles and then how a line segment can be divided into the so many parts like that. And now the usage of this chapter is in future if you want to become a mechanical engineer or any civil engineer for any constructions, we should know that how to construct a triangle, how to construct the trusses like bus shelters and then how to construct various, various, various items, then this is going to be very much useful. But in your lower classes, you might have studied the angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 120 degrees as well as 180 degrees construction. The same concept we are going to study here. How to construct the triangle angular bisectors this. First we will start with how to construct an angular bisector. Now first step is let us take A and B are two points. Then if I take A and B are two points with some length what we will do is we will take the midpoint of it let us call it as C then we will draw an arc here in the C by taking center A the same manner we are going to get one arc here the same manner by taking B the same manner if I construct an arc here here also an arc here if I join this naturally we are going to get a if we join here we are going to get one bisector now let us call it as this one is equal to this one is p as well as q this we can say that pq is a perpendicular bisector to this how we did we will see then what we are going to derive from this let us call it as the first step is let a b is a line segment a B is a line segment. Now with some length you try to take it. Now if you take A B is a line segment, we will take the point C in mid of C is a midpoint of A B. Now second step is C is a midpoint of A B. If C is a midpoint of A B, then the third step is taking A is a center, draw an arc above and below the line, above and below the line. Now after drawing an arc above as well as below, the same manner take taking fourth point taking b is a center draw an arc above and below the line which is intersecting the previous drawn arc previous drawn arc now join these two arcs join these two arcs that line segment is a perpendicular bisector perpendicular 
bisector of AB. In that way we can construct it. Now the same thing we can extend for some other. Now here if I join A and P we are going to get one triangle. This is going to be the one more triangle. This is one more triangle. This is going to be the one more triangle. Now my main interest is I want to prove that APB is similar to AQB. I want to prove. Now triangle APB is similar to triangle AQB. How to prove this? First of all, AB is a common side to the triangle AQB as well as APB. AB is a common side to triangle APB and triangle AQB. That implies PQ is a bisector. PQ is a bisector. Angle P is divided into the equal parts. And then at angle C it is going to be the 90 degrees. Angle at C is 90 degrees. Now ACP is a right angle triangle, BCP is a right angle triangle. <coughs> ACP triangle ACP is a right angle and a triangle BCP is a right angle. That implies one angle is going to be the common to the both the triangles. Naturally, since AB is a common side, therefore angle AB is going to be, therefore AB is a common side, angle at B is going to be the same as angle at C, angle at A. Angle B is equal to angle A. According to the side angle side, naturally we can say that APB is similar to angle A triangle ABQ. According to the side angle side, you can say that because or you can say that angle side angle that is angle is 190 degrees, other angle is at B is the same as angle A. Anyhow, P is going PQ is a bisector, therefore, according to that angle S yes, angle side angle triangle APB is similar to is similar to triangle ABQ. The same manner I can prove that triangle APQ is similar to triangle PQB. Triangle PQB that is APQ is similar to triangle PQB is similar. 